Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TV and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to the KM with Every Gun series and Call of Duty Ghosts. And, uh, anyways, for today's episode, I got for you guys the Haunted Badger uh, Assault Rifle. I know last episode was an Assault Rifle too, and I really wanted to mix it up and uh, get an SMG episode for this, uh, you know, for this episode, right? But, or an SMG Kim for this episode, but I just, I couldn't do it, man. I, I was not doing good with the SMGs. I don't know what it was. But uh, I was using the Vector, and, and you know, the Vector is a great SMG. It, it's so much fun, but uh, just, it, just, it just wasn't working out. So I was like, you know what, for a game or two, I'll switch it up to the Assault Rifle. And then I managed to pull this off, which this is a super clutch KM, just because of how close I managed to get it towards the end of the score limit of the gameplay. It was, it was, it was so close to me not getting it. I would have raged so, oh, uh, yeah, I would have screamed like a little girl. But anyways, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for 10,000 likes on the previous episode. It was with the SA-805. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, you can check it at link in the description or annotation above. And if we could smash 10,000 likes on this episode as well, I know we could do it. That would be absolutely amazing. So, uh, anyways, I guess we should talk about the class that I'm using a little bit, because I didn't really touch on that last episode, so I apologize for that. However, I forget the name of this map, but this map, like, inspires campers. This is the most campy, inspired map I've ever seen in any Call of Duty game. Like, it's it's a fun map, in a sense, but the the way people play this map, they abuse it. That that's That's what really happens with a lot of the Call of Duty Ghost maps, I find. I find that the maps are actually a lot of fun. But they're way too open, there's way too many spots to get shot from, which makes it very frustrating and infuriating to try to get a KM strike or just get on a streak in general. I mean, like, look at this right here. Normally you get snipers camping up there all the time, and then, you know, it's just like every single direction you can get shot at by an assault rifle camper, you know, a marksman camper, a sniper camper. There's just so many campers, and, and that's why when you're going for a Kim on this map, or just like even like a couple of kills to get like a kill streak, like, heck, just to get an IMS or something, you have to play so cautiously uh, just because of how crazy it is and, and the one thing I love to run in all my chem classes and one thing that you guys notice seeing me a lot you're gonna see me running dead silence a bunch you're gonna see me running scavenger a bunch and, and scavenger is really self-explanatory because I have to use you know the, the gun for the entire uh, gameplay right so uh, dead silence is just so I, I don't like hearing my own footsteps I don't know if that's weird but it's like a personal pet peeve of mine because, you know, I play in the PC, so I have headphones in, obviously. And right here, this guy should have killed me. So freaking glad he didn't. Oh, I, I think Deadeye, man. Deadeye has got to be one of the best perks in this game. I love it so much. So if you guys haven't tried Deadeye yet, basically, it just gives you a chance to hit criticals. Uh, which do more damage with your gun, which is actually a really cool perk. Like, I gotta give it to Infinity Ward. That was really, you know, very classy of them. Very inspirational and, and a good idea. But, uh, anyway, so, one of the things you're gonna see me running almost on every Kim episode is gonna be Sit Rep. And that's because, like I said, this map inspires campers, and a lot of the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts tend to inspire campers. So, what do campers love using? I swear, they love IEDs. IEDs. Like, IMSs. They're freaking everywhere. If you try to go for a Kim Strike without uh, Sit Rep on, I promise you, you're gonna have a bad time. So make sure to equip that bad boy. Don't leave it off. And honestly, there's just so many perks in Call of Duty Ghosts that I can never really choose which ones are my favorite and which ones I really want to use. I'm always having to bounce back and forth between, like, you know, Hardline or Slide of Hand. Like, I'm really... Uh, I, I, I always was a big Slide of Hand advocate. I, I ran Slide of Hand, like, on every single class. I ever used in Call of Duty. And look at this guy, like here, this is what I'm talking about by campers, man. Place an ID down and they snipe with a freaking, you know, bush suit on and they, they, they expect to get a bunch of kills. So you gotta be really careful. And the cool thing about sit rep is that it allows you to spot campers because of their equipment, which I really like. I, I love that little pop shot right there, like one bullet, get a crit, and then I kill the guy because my teammate tagged him with the, uh, the assault shield or whatever it's called in this game. So yeah, anyways, like I was saying, um, I, I kind of just like totally forgot my train of thought was just completely erased. No idea what I was talking about. Oh yeah, sleight of hand. I was a big sleight of hand advocate. So, you know, having to get used to not using the perks that you've been using for like the last five Call of Duty straight is so tough. Like, you'll notice in this one, I used to swear by Stalker and uh, Modern Warfare 3, and even in Black Ops 2, I swore by what's called Stalk, right? So it's just like Stalker. I, I could not play an assault rifle class without it. However, I've really had to get used to it in this game uh, just because, you know, there's so many, like, if you're gonna pick quick, uh, if you're gonna pick between, like, quick draw 
and Stalker, I would say always go quick draw. Unless you're just going to be one of those guys who aim down the site 24-7, which honestly, let's be honest here, it's no fun to aim down the site 24-7 and play that way, play super defensive. It's just not really fun, you know. I, anyway, so right here you can see there's two points left in the game. I pick off this clutch kill, go up these staircases, get the camp, boom, end of freaking game. So close. So anyways, back to the thing. Pick quick draw over Stalker. I promise it'll get you more kills. And it'll help you get your gun up faster, which in return is going to help you get up your shots off on a guy quicker. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kim with Every Gun. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Leave a like down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, zero captures, but guess what? I kicked major booty anyways. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Peace out.